Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As I was reading the Word of God, I came across something and the Lord opened my eyes to something that some of you may already know. And to those that you do not, I'm about to reveal it to you. And if you don't get it, ponder on it, sit in the presence of the Lord and pray on it. I'm going to read you James chapter 1, verse 1. This is all I'm going to read to you. James chapter 1, verse 1. I'm going to read you um, the King James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is his greeting. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. I'm going to read it again. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. The 12 tribes of Israel were scattered abroad. Some in Jamaica, where I'm born, some in Canada, some in Africa, some in Germany, some in Egypt, some in Africa, some in Tibet, some in China. Do you hear this? We're one in Christ. We're one in Christ. And what's coming into my spirit even now, even this racism, racism and hatred and even racism not just only with race but there's racism within races <laughs> there 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 are races within a within races there's racism among communities racism my brothers and sisters the spirit is so much beyond black and white i hear god saying the spirit is to keep the 12 tribes from coming together as one you thought it was a black thing. I did. A black and white thing. A rich and poor thing. This is to keep the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad from coming together. Don't you know that you are warring against your own when you are sitting there as an Asian person that you don't like, the African person, don't you know that is a principality that's set to keep you from coming together, further scattering yourselves? That's why God is going to be calling his elect from where? The four ends of the earth. When he, the trumpet sounds, he's going to gather together the elect. Those of us that's called, that's a part of the 12 tribes. That's been scattered abroad. How many times have I seen and heard the scripture and never thought about it? We're scattered abroad. We're scattered abroad. We're not all black. You know, there's some people that still believe, oh, it's only black people. And no, this is not correct. We are all from God. We all came from God. We all are descendants of Adam and Eve. And thank God for Jesus who shed his blood, who gave us the, the, the opportunity to, to, to now walk in him. But the 12, the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad, we have different pigmentations in this flesh. In this flesh. Who knows what I look like outside of this? You're casing your body. What would you do if when you are transformed in the spirit before God, you look like what you've always hated? Mm? What if you as a Caucasian person, let's say you hate black people. What if when God transforms you, you realize that you were black? What if you uh, as uh, you don't like Asian people? Oh, I don't like Indian people and you're transformed and that's what you look like in the spirit. Everybody that we see, we're made in the image and the likeness of God. So my brothers and sisters, oh my God, hallelujah, Jesus. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better wake up. I woke up just now to this scripture. 
The Lord says we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourself. Hallelujah. And the reason why he says that is because they are you. They're you. Every time you destroy and you gnash upon and you hurt somebody and you do them dirty, my brothers and sisters. That's why sometimes you can't get right in your life. And sometimes you find people have tragedy, tragedies and things happen in their house and some, uh, what do you call it? Some crazy events, some crazy way someone died in whatever because of sin, because of what you did. I don't want to go too far. We are scattered abroad. And God is reaching out to each and every one of us. He's waking us up. Some of us have been asleep. We've been doing our own thing. But guess what? God is calling you, but you choose. You choose whether you're going to follow him or not. So stop looking. Hallelujah. God has just shown me even now. There's so many of you guys. You're so, you, 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 you discriminate. You discriminate if you know whether it's someone that's preaching someone that you don't know if you don't know this person they're not well known you don't want to hear them you question their credibility if someone has a small channel and they only have two or three people you deem that oh they're not worthy of me to listen if the person has a small church and they don't have a lot of instruments oh you, you don't want to hear nothing from them you if they're not if they don't look like you if they if they're not rich if, if there's not an nba player in their church you don't want to go there and god is saying that there is this this thing it really goes back to pride where people feel like if you look like this i can't receive you guys will sit there if Someone has a heavy accent, someone of, a, of, of, of African descent, you will sit there and you can't hear and you will act like you don't understand. You don't even try to understand. You don't like them. You don't like how big his or her lips look. You don't like how wide their nose are. Oh, you don't like that this is a woman. You don't like that this is an Asian person. You don't like that this is a white person because what the white man did. You don't like that this is a black person because you think all black people are are, are, are thieves and, 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 and below your whatever I, i'm only going to speak to people that have this type of degree you will look people up to see what their educational background is to see if they can talk to you but god is saying you're missing out because you're looking at the person but not seeing that god is speaking through them stop being pulled into people's how many channels how many people's on the channel how many followers that they have in one setting how many campuses that they have because god is saying i'm beginning to pull that person that you overlook who is going to have my unadulterated word that person that's going to be getting revelation and god is saying do not sleep on them my brothers and sisters don't sleep on that person oh they only got 10 subscribers they can't tell me nothing oh she only got two subscribers she can't tell me nothing oh they don't know this person stop being caught up with people because they running with people that you see their names on kiosks stop running being impressed by people because oh they did the show and they met so and so and they got a, a like from this person it has nothing to do with the power of God and God is in the business of using those that you overlook God is saying the racism has to stop the discrimination within the body have to stop God is talking to us we're talking about the world outside, but God is saying, what about you? Sitting there hating your brother to your left, your sister to your right. What about you all? God is even putting it in my spirit that you sit there and leave the singles alone. God forbid there's a single mother or, or whatever. Y'all treat the singles like they are the plague because you're trying to either fight your own temptations or you got a wife or a husband who don't have control over themselves. So now y'all want to push the singles to the back or y'all want to use them for your own good and then and throw them off. Racism needs to, listen, racism needs to stop on a whole discrimination. But God is saying it's happening even within yourselves, within yourselves. And if you don't repent and if you don't change, you will find that even when God sets up a platform and a place for equality, you will turn around and kill one another of your own race and of your own house because you inside have not been changed. God says the 12 tribes are dispersed you are a part of it we're all a part of it we're scattered abroad we're scattered abroad so don't overlook and don't discriminate 
God is going to gather his people. And you're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised. Don't sleep on someone that's homeless. That can be a part of the elect of God. That's just the life and the, the hand that they've been dealt right now for whatever reason. God says we need to see people as they are in his eyes and not how we determine based on our own upbringing and our own discriminations and our own res uh, reservations. The 12 tribes are scattered abroad. God is calling us all together for this time. This is the word of the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Be blessed.